Hi children, today we will be discussing uh, how to draw ray diagrams showing reflected rays from a concave mirror and a convex mirror. Okay, so it's very easy. First of all, we will discuss how to draw a normal in the case of a spherical mirror. Suppose we consider a concave mirror. In the case of a concave mirror, suppose you have a concave mirror like this. Okay, and this is the principal axis, you know, that is this point is pole and this point is center of curvature. Because when we draw ray diagrams, no, we have to apply laws of reflection. So, in that case, we have to draw normal. So, how to draw normal? So, the thing is this, suppose you have an incident ray like this. This is an incident ray. So, this point, suppose I mark this point as M. This point is called point of incidence. Okay. This point M is called point of incidence. Now you have to draw normal at this point of incidence. Okay. So how will we draw since the surface is curved one. You have to join the center of curvature with the point of incidence. The line joining the center of curvature and the point of incidence is known as normal. So, the line drawn like this is called as a normal. So, this is the normal. This is how you can draw the normal. So, this angle is what as we stated in the first class. This angle is angle of incidence. Now, how to draw reflected ray? Reflected ray can be drawn by taking the same angle to the other side of the normal because the first law of reflection says that all the three that is incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal to the surface at the point of incidence should lie in the same plane. So measuring this angle take the same angle to the other side of this uh, point that is uh, this normal. So you will get a uh, ray like this okay provided this angle is same. So, this ray comes as the reflected ray. So, if generally one question comes, any one incident ray is given, you are asked to draw reflected ray. This is how you have to draw a reflected ray. So, first you draw normal at the point of incidence. How to draw normal at the point of incidence? Draw the line joining the point of incidence and center of curvature. That line will be the normal at that point. The rest is very easy. Measure that angle. The same angle you take to this side also and draw the ray. That gives you the reflected ray. Okay. Now what we will discuss is generally we have four types of incident rays. Those For those four types of incident rays, how will be the reflected ray? That's what we are going to discuss. So first we will discuss in the case of a con cave mirror in the case of a concave mirror. So first ray what we are considering is so a concave mirror we are considering this is a concave mirror and this is the principal axis this is the point we call pole and this point we have that is a center of curvature and at the midpoint of PC you have the principal focus. Yesterday we already mentioned PF is equal to uh, PC by 2. That means radius of curvature is twice the focal length or focal length is half of radius of curvature. Now the light, suppose, first case is a ray which is parallel to the principal axis. So the ray which is parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus after reflection. So this is a point which you have to keep in mind. Because in continuation, we have to draw a number of ray diagrams showing image formation. So, this is the first point you have to keep in mind. That is, when a ray is parallel to the principal axis, in the case of a concave mirror, okay, after reflection, the ray passes through the focus. Okay, so that is the first point. That is, now the second case is with a ray which passes through the center of curvature. So this is the concave mirror. This is the principal axis. This is the point P. This is C. This is F. Now how is the incident ray? The incident ray is passing through 
the center of curvature. So, if a ray is passing through the center of curvature, you know the line joining the center of curvature and the point of incidence itself is normal. So, what is angle of incidence here? Angle of incidence here is 0. So, angle of reflection also is to be 0. So, what about the nature of reflected ray? The reflected ray retraces the path. Okay, so the reflected ray retraces the path because angle of incidence is equal to 0 and angle of reflection also is equal to 0 because that ray itself comes along the normal. Okay, so when the incident ray passes through the center of curvature, the reflected ray retraces the path. Reflected ray goes back along the same direction. That's what we mean by retracing the path. So it retraces the path. So, second one also is over. Now, coming to the third one, that is when the incident ray, so third one we are discussing, that is the incident ray passes through focus. So, pole, focus, center of curvature. Now, the incident ray is in such a way that it passes through focus. So, in that case, the reflected ray emerges or a reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis. That means you can compare these two cases. So, when incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, reflected ray passes through focus. When the incident ray passes through focus, reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis. So, that is about third ray. Now, one more, that is the fourth case, that is when the incident ray strikes at the pole. So, this is the principal axis, this is the point pole and a ray strikes at the pole. So, this is uh, what center of curvature, this is focus. Okay, so when a ray strikes at the pole, what about the uh, reflected ray? So, here principal axis itself act as the normal. Principal axis itself act as the normal. So, with the normal what angle or with the principal axis what angle the incident ray makes, the same angle the reflected ray makes in the other direction. So, these two angles will be same. So, here the point of importance is principal axis is acting as the normal and the rest is law of reflection only. Okay, so this shows, these set of diagrams shows the nature of reflected rays in the case of concave mirror. This is very important. Using these points only we will be drawing ray diagrams in the case of concave mirror when it forms images. When we come to the image formation, oh, these points we will be using. Now, the same diagrams means uh, similar diagrams we will draw in the case of convex mirror. In the case of convex mirror, how the ray diagrams will be? So, first we discussed concave mirror. Now, we are going to discuss convex mirror. So, first case. So, this is a convex mirror. Convex mirror. Now, this is the principal axis. This is pole, this is focus, this is the center of curvature. Okay, so first case as we discussed in the case of concave mirror, we are considering a ray which is parallel to the principal axis. A ray which is parallel to the principal axis. So after reflection, the ray will be going just like it comes from focus. So, this is how the reflected ray goes. This follows directly from the definition of focus which we discussed in the previous class. So, when the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, the reflected ray will appear to come from focus. So, that is the first case. Now, the second one, the convex mirror. Second one, the ray which is directed towards the center of curvature. So, this is F, this is C and you have a ray which is directed towards the center of curvature. 
So, this is the incident ray which is directed towards the center of curvature. So, compare and study concave mirror and convex mirror. In the case of concave mirror, the incident ray was passing through center of curvature. Here in the case of convex mirror, it is directed towards the center of curvature. So, in that case, the reflected ray, it retraces the path. That means in this case also, the normal is along the same line that means center of curvature line joining center of curvature and the point of incidence that is the normal here that direction is same okay so that the reflected ray will retrace the path that is about the second case now the third case we are going to discuss that is when the incident ray when the incident ray passes through the focus when the incident ray passes through the focus now the third case that is the incident ray passes through focus so passes through focus means directed towards focus so this is f this is c this is p so, the incident ray comes like this. Incident ray is directed towards the focus. Okay. So, in that case, how the reflected ray will be? The reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis. So, when the incident ray is directed towards the focus, the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis. Now, the fourth case that is the convex mirror, uh, the incident ray strikes at the pole. The incident ray strikes at the pole. So, here F, here C. Now, this is what? So, the same thing here also. That is, the principal axis act as the normal. So, reflected ray also will make the same angle. So, this is I and this is R and I will be equal to R. The only thing is this principal axis is acting as the normal. Okay. So, the two things that is in the case of concave mirror and convex mirror, we have to compare and study. So, first type of ray, the ray which is parallel to the principal axis. So, in the case of concave mirror, after reflection, it passes through focus. In the case of convex mirror, it appears to come from focus. Then second ray, the incident ray passing through center of curvature in the case of concave mirror. And in the convex mirror, it is directed towards the center of curvature. In both the case, the reflected ray retraces the path. Now, the third one is incident ray parallel not parallel it is uh, it is passing through the focus in the case of concave mirror and it is directed towards the focus in the case of convex mirror so in both the case the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis and the fourth case that is the point of incidence is at the pole so the point to be noted is the principal axis act as the normal so, the incident ray and the reflected ray will be making same angle with the principal axis. Only this much for today. Thank you.